Didn't want to ring. I just got Jack off to sleep. No word yet, huh? No. I talked to McGrady. The storm's over. They're sending out more planes. How are things outside? I ran off a bunch of reporters, TV people, out the main gate. They managed to interview a couple of hands. I don't think they got anything, though, ma'am. Who's that this time of night? Mrs. Ewing? Who are you? Ken Jackson. I'm with the press. I called earlier. You're trespassing, mister. I'll take care of this, Ray. How did you get in here? How did you get on the ranch, Mr. Jackson? Well, I did an article on the place a couple of years back, and I remembered an arroyo that uh, led into the feedlot. We'll have to take care of that. Now, exactly what do you want with me, Mr. Jackson? Well, uh, you know, maybe a statement. Uh, you know, just a few words. You hear a rumor that a plane is down. My two boys missing. And with no respect for human feeling or private grief, you come circling around here like a vulture. Do you know what we do to vultures out here, Mr. Jackson? Ray, get me the shotgun out of the hall closet. Yes, ma'am. Now, Mrs. Ewing, I'm just, I'm just doing my job. Then find a better job or a better way of doing this one. Mr. Jackson, anybody on my land without invitation is a trespasser. So unless I see your tail heading out of here right now and fast, I'm going to blow it off. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Now get out. Yes, get out! I'll get a couple men down that row, ma'am. Just in case any more of these creeps come snooping around here. Why didn't you tell me? Why, Miss Ellie? You heard. Why didn't you tell me? I was afraid to. Of what it would do to you. When are you going to understand, woman? When? But I'm all right. Damn it, Ellie. Both of them. Why? It's not certain, Jock. There's still a chance. 